daylight is quickly fading, and a breakdown threatens to strand Tom and his son Chad deep within the woods. What's our options then? We ain't got a lot of time to sit here and mess with it. I thought, well, my friend has an old log cabin on a lake nearby here. We'll just both get on the one machine. It ain't very far now to the lake. Been a couple miles or so. Well, it ain't even that far, I don't think. Hmm? Well, let's just go back when we got a little more daylight. That's one thing about these snowmobiles, you can't never count them. The two of us on that one machine was a little bit rough because both of you need to be leaning through this rough country. We were traveling for a while. I was thinking, oh, geez, where is this place? And all of a sudden, we broke through the trees, and there was the lake and the cabin on the other side. I'm thinking, OK, I can get off this machine. We can get a fire built. Chad need to free the snowmobile from the slush before the temperatures plummet, and their only ride home freezes to the surface. But the machine weighs nearly 500 pounds. It must be full of ice. <laughs> that packed the track up so much with this heavy ice water and snow water that, God, we couldn't even move that sucker. Well, we're slushed up. We didn't have a lot of time. It was going to freeze in, and once that track freezes in, it's done. I mean, there's nothing you can do with it until it thaws. If we don't get this damn snowmobile out of this ice, we're in trouble. I don't know if we're ever going to get out of here, boy. 